What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome to my current subscribers. And welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying. This is free general collective reading, so it's very important. Only take the messages that resonate, leave the rest. I gotta make it very quick, very, very, very quick. But I got a channeling in real quick, so I'm going to do it. Um, so just saying. If you think anyone else could benefit from these messages or my channel or would like my channel or the messages, uh, you're welcome to share my videos on your social media and word of mouth. I'd appreciate a single mom with two kids, so it truly, truly helps. Just saying. Okay, so the channeling I received was, um, and I heard Secret 7, just saying. I heard someone um, is going to um, write a book imitating their side of the Secret 7, is what I heard. Um, but I heard they think it's going to be a huge success and they're going to write it under an alias. So no one knows who is really writing it. But I heard it's actually going to flop in huge ways because people are going to figure it out. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, yeah, nay, nay. Um, nay, nay. Uh, because the only person that should be writing a book on The Secret Seven is Single Mom Leo. And that's just the truth. Um, I mean, yeah, of course, they have the freedom to write their side of the Secret Seven. I heard their side of the Secret Seven. So it's not Single Mom Leo. Definitely not Single Mom Leo, for sure. And many are about to figure this out. However, another book will be written down the line and on, regarding the Secret Seven, and, and it will be very successful from first-hand point of view. Okay, I heard definitely not Secret 7, so that's com that's confirmation. So it's definitely not Single Mom Leo, the original OG, just saying. I mean, I, that was definitely was a spiritual download for real. It really was. I truly did receive that. But, I mean, I knew I knew I, it wasn't me anyways. It wasn't me writing the book. <laughs> it's somebody else. Um, cause I, I mean, I know what I'm doing, and that's not me about to release this book, and that's just the truth. But, and there's many Single Mom Leos and many secret 7s type situations out there so you know i'm the original og single mom leo for, yeah for sure but there's many single mom leos there's many single parents that had to go through that secret seven shit so you know it really could be anybody that wrote it from their perspective and there were many kind of single mom leo s type situations mom or dad single mom or dad so you know you plug it in how it resonates but my point is it should be written through the first hand point of view of the person that really really had to deal with the camera in their home not the person viewing their ass through the, the, the home and that's just the truth whoever this is i think they were a viewer through the home I heard from their point of view well okay but i heard it's actually gonna uh flop it's actually gonna flop and but i heard they're gonna write it through an alias so you know like mark twain was an alias um uh, from his real name, Samuel something. Um, Mark Twain was an alias. His real name was Samuel something, um, but he wrote under the alias Mark Twain. Well, this person is going to write under an alias because people, they don't want people to know their real name because they want their book to do well. Um, but I heard people are going to figure it out. So I think you're going to figure it out and I heard it's going to flop. And yeah, it should flop because if you're not writing from firsthand point of view of a person that was actually gang stalked in their home, dealing, having to deal with children and life and pay mortgage and bills and combating a freaking community going against you while there's secretly a hidden camera in your house, then you have no right to be writing a book from someone voyeuring in through someone through a camera that was voyeured in on. And I mean, that's just the truth. That's the truth. For real, for real. I'm serious about that. So, I mean, the book should flop. And, and they're going through such great lengths to put it under an alias. Well, I mean, yeah, you're going through great lengths to put it under an alias. But I heard it's still going to flop. It is going to flop in huge ways. Okay, I heard it's going to flop in huge ways. So, it's not going to flop in no baby way. It's going to flop in a huge way. So, um, they're going to try, but, um, it's not, I heard it's not going to be successful. So you plug it in how it resonates. Number 40 could be a very significant number of one's life. Number 40, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible date of birth number, possible lottery number, uh, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, number 40, darkness. It is going to piss this person off in a huge way, a huge way. 
but it's part of their karma. They should have never done what they did. Heavy air sign energy. Heavy Libra. Okay. So you plug it in how it resonates. So I heard it's part of their karma. They never should have did what they did. Heavy air sign energy. Heavy Libra energy. So I strongly feel it might be a Libra that's writing this book. Or somebody that has heavy, uh, Libra heavily, heavily aspected in their charts. Because I heard air sign energy, heavy Libra. So I feel it's either a Libra sun or somebody that has that has Libra heavily aspected in their chart. So maybe they might not be a Libra sun. They might just have Libra in several placements in their chart. But two plus placements in their chart with Libra and air sign energy heavy. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, they might have um, Libra. I mean, I'm sorry, Aquarius or Gemini in other charts, other placements. But definitely two plus placements of Libra for sure, for sure. I heard they're going to be pissed. So the darkness is going to be the pissy energy. That there might be some depression here. Um, they're going to be sad because they want to make a lot of money off these uh, book or books. Um, but it's not going to work. But I heard there's going to be another book um, or books released later. So it might be later this year. It might be. Um, let me see if I hear anything. Later this year. Later this year. Later this year. So um, there's going to be another book or books released later this year. I guess regarding Secret 7 or something to do with the Secret 7. And um, I didn't hear if that would be successful or not successful. But you plug it in how it resonates. I know for me, I am currently working on something. For anybody who um, doesn't know, I am working on something regarding Secret 7 right now. For any, for any of you interested, I am. Um, but I'm taking my time on mine. I'm taking my time. I'm doing it slow because I know there's still more to the story. So I'm not going to re fully release mine until I know the full story. So just to let y'all know, because I'm the original OG single mom Leo. So just to let y'all know on my end, I'm not releasing mine until I know the full story. But, um, and I don't know when I'm going to release mine. I don't know if it's going to be the end of the year. I don't know when, because I have to have the full story first. And that's just the truth. But I heard there's going to be something released, released later this year. Um, something Secret 7S type related, I'm assuming book-wise. Um, and I heard, um, so you plug it in how it resonates. I didn't hear if that's going to do well or not. You know, it really all depends. So you plug it in how it resonates. But there's some kind of Libra and energy, masculine or feminine Libra and energy, with two plus placements in their chart, whether they're Leo, I'm not a Leo, I'm sorry, Libra sun or not. They could be a Libra moon. They could be a Libra rising. I don't know, masculine or feminine Libra, but they want to profit off the Secret Seven, but they were not original OG, single mom Leo S type energy. Um, I feel they were a warrior through the camel. I heard it's going to tank in a huge way. So darkness, they're going to be pissed, they're going to be depressed, they're going to be sad, but it's not theirs to to recount on. Yeah, you can give your recount, your recounting of the Secret Seven situation. Yeah. But if you're a voyeur through the camera, who the hell wants to uh, read that? And that's just the truth. I mean, are you serious? Spirit messages you have to collect it. And they're going, they're going to put it through an alias. So, I mean, they truly do not want uh, nobody to know. But it's about to get out and it's about to get out quickly when this book is released. Okay, I heard, but it's about to get out, and it's about to get out quickly when this book is released. So the alias part and the part that this person really wasn't like original OG, single mom Leo S type energy, like a actual gang stalk victim, basically. Um, they were probably a pampered chef kind of victim that was eating their croutons and caviar through the camera, probably making money off of it. Just saying, just saying. Um, not the true victim. Wheel. Number 13 could be very significant in one's life. Number 13. A stolen inheritance has a lot to do with this as well. And the tables are turning on this already, and it's about to turn in a huge way. 
Oh, crap. I heard a stolen inheritance has a lot to do with this as well, and the tables are turning on this situation, and they're about to turn in a huge way. So it sounds like the energetic shift with the tables turning with the wheel. This In this situation, it's physical wheel. It's not like wheel to... Usually when I get this card out, it's wheel, like desire, drive, and motivation energy, like wheel, drive, motivation. In this situation, it's physical wheel. So physical wheel, like a physical inheritance, physical wheel, like uh, inheritance, property, um, that type of energy. Um, trust fund baby energy, possibly. I didn't hear that. But, you know, properties, inheritances, money, property, investments, you know, things that are left through a legal wheel, basically, um, in this situation. Um, but I heard the energy is already shifting. Uh, there's some kind of stolen wheel energy, stolen inheritance, stolen wheel energy. The energy is already shifted, and it's going to really, really shift soon. So maybe the, a stolen wheel or inheritance really get, um, gets revealed, gets returned to the rightful uh, owner, etc., etc., etc. Possibly. I didn't hear that part. That's just my deductive logic and reasoning on this. You plug in and help resonate. Let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. All right, I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.